I am genuinely descended from the Philippines and a poet, fictionist, and uh, uh, professor. Being a storyteller of the different uh, events that happen in the country, like historically, culturally, and the yearly tragedies that we have. I think it's really its people, the warmth, the creativity, the resourcefulness, the resilience, and uh, uh, love of life in general. Well, uh, of course, the, the hardest for me is the beginning always, how to start. And of course, the happiest is like when because I see writing as a jigsaw puzzle. It is as if you, when you're done and the parts, you've seen the parts now making it into a whole and it's making sense now. So it's, it's amazing. I can't believe that you're able to do that. The, the squirrel. <laughs> because I just read this in picture book when I was small and now it's real and it's just everywhere. I appreciate the, the details, the daily life, the normal life that I I did not see usually in, in television and in movies. So that's what I really like here being in America. The, in general there's no sense of oh no because I, I feel like everything is familiar but again I like the ordinary the details. Yes, uh, since I came in Iowa, I've been reading some poetry books, especially the award-winning ones. So I checked the national winners because uh, we don't have uh, those kind of books in our uh, bookstores and I think in the library right now. In the Philippines, yeah. there are some grants, some conferences where writers are being paid to travel to one area. I've been recipient of some, but generally, uh, I think it has still to be improved. It's not a priority in our country. I think there's a talk right now on also having writing residences in different parts of the country. I think that should be pursued. There are, uh, although there are private uh, organizations like our oldest and most prestigious litter contest is uh, privately sponsored. What's the one question you wish people would ask you about your work or your life as a writer? I think perhaps uh, if I've not been if I have not be, if I'm not a writer or a teacher, what works or the other kind of lives I think I would like to live or I desire to live. I think that's what I'm I'm interested for them to know. <laughs> Being a writer, uh, I think uh, it, it gives many gifts. No? So I always thought of. The Spanish writer, uh, Spanish singer Mercedes uh, Sosa, that Gracias a la vida, this is a life that has given me so much. Uh, so that's why I also I am also being mindful and attentive, giving time, energy, and myself, my life to writing, because it has also given me so much. And I think it's a mutual relationship. The input is equals the output. No? Like the Little Prince, the time that you spent with your rose is. That's what makes it special.